So there's two scandals developing at exactly the same time this evening. The first is uh, that James Cleverly thinks that it's perfectly legitimate to say uh, that he's referred to another honourable member, if not an honourable friend in Parliament, as a shit, and think that, that, that there's this distinction between referring to honourable members uh, of Parliament uh, in such a disparaging way um, with unparliamentary language uh, and that that makes it okay because he wasn't referring to Stockton itself as a shithole which is what he was alleged to have said and uh, he can't get out of he can't wriggle out of the reality that he used the word shit it's just exactly where that audio was directed um, who or what it was aimed at. So that's scandal number one. And scandal number two, which I think probably has the potential to be even bigger, is that uh, the Prime Minister of Greece, Kyriakos Mitsoulakis, was due to see uh, our Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, and uh, Rishi Sunak cancelled at the last minute, at the 11th hour. The Prime Minister is disappointed, says uh, the Kyriakos uh, Mitsoulakis' office, that Prime Minister Sunak cancelled the bilateral meeting at the 11th hour. Greece and Britain have a very deep history of friendship and cooperation, and the Greek government is extremely surprised by this decision. The Prime Minister was looking forward to discussing a range of topics of mutual interest, including the Israeli-Gaza conflict, Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine, climate change, as well as uh, common challenges such as migration and, of course, the Parthenon sculptures. And Mitsoulakis is rightly baffled and annoyed and for him to actually for his uh, spokesperson to actually make that statement that the prime minister of greece in a visit to the uk is annoyed with sunak is an extraordinary um diplomatic statement and an extraordinary um response i think rishi sunak and his government need to buck their uh, ideas up. Rishi Sunak needs to stop micromanaging um, his government, delegate and be confident that his various ministers, the ministers that he has appointed can do their job and actually get some of these jobs done. Instead, I think it's going to be more posturing, more rhetoric and more uh, potential ridicule. And it's impossible for anybody to make any plans uh, I was advising somebody today who wanted to know uh, would it be suitable to come to the UK next year for a master's degree and the answer is no. What's the point? Nobody knows by that stage whether uh, people who've got to, who are studying for a master's will be able to stay on and uh, get work or whether they'll be booted out of the country the moment they've paid their extremely high fee and got, uh, got through their visa clearance. There is no certainty. Equally, there is no certainty about whether if somebody is, um, is, is trying to get a job from abroad in this country, whether or not that will happen. If the present government changes the law, would the Labour government, would the incoming Labour government reverse it? I think it's highly unlikely. I think they'll be grateful that someone's done their job for them. And I, and I think that job is wrong, by the way. Let me be in no doubt at all. Um, I think we need Im we need immigration. We need people to do the jobs that um, uh, are not being done. And while we continue to uh, focus on this absurdity, uh, this absurdly xenophobic and Little Britain mentality, we are doomed to disaster. And if at the same time we're going to rebuff and to treat uh, friends and European friends with the contempt that Rishi Sunak has um, treated the Greek Prime Minister, well, frankly, we don't deserve we don't deserve to be to 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 um, to expect to have such high standing as we are given um, by history and by accord. Uh, in the world so far we will lose all that because there's a limit to how much tolerance other countries can have for a country which treats everybody else with a sneer of derision and has no right to 
we are the country that is uh, facing bubbling inflation. We are the country that cannot control our uh, our, our own um, plans, let alone our own borders. And we are the country that is um, belly aching and is seen publicly to be inching towards some sort of autocracy where the police can arrest people on a whim simply because they don't like them. And this isn't the rule of law. This isn't the uh, rule of intelligence. This isn't um, any form of sense. This is thuggery. And this is bully boy tactics. We might as well bring Pretty Patel in. At least she knows what she's doing. At least she's got. Um, at least. Uh, at least she's got the qualification of having been accused directly of bullying. Or bring back Burko. Uh, he's also got the uh, uh, got the sign of bullying over his head. At least they have experience, it seems. Um, and if they don't, they can get it. Because at the moment, we are appearing like bullies on the world stage and pygmy bullies at that. We are little, little, little individuals and we don't deserve the massive respect which has been given to us over the years and through the hard work of people in the past. Uh, I'm deeply ashamed of our present government. Deeply ashamed. <laughs>